So, people that know me know that's where it all started. Any of my new viewers, y'all don't probably don't know that, but that's the boat I used to fish out of when I was 12, 13 years old. My dad would go drop me off at the lake with some friends of mine, and we'd fish all day in that sucker. So, let's go for old time's sakes. If y'all don't know, that boat right there, that engine, broke down day two of the Coastal Championship. So, going to a home pond today, and me and my little brother, he's driving. That feels kind of strange, him driving, pulling the boat, but going to my home lake it's down a few feet so let's go wreck them today so what's been happening is matt's been going to harden pretty regularly so that's the lake we're going to today and he has not been catching them he's been straight up the captain of the struggle bus driving it he's pretty much the dang captain so matt how much weight you think we'll catch today like for real how much you think we'll catch today um probably like Nine, ten pounds. And how many fish do you think we'll catch today? Like nine. That ain't that, that ain't that bad. So we gotta catch more than ten pounds, and we gotta catch more than ten fish. So that's the challenge for today. We've got six hours probably, and we can get it doing. Nice little spotted bass. Dark colored fish. Pretty one though. First fish back on my home lake. Pretty spot. Didn't even catch him, dude. <laughs> Tried to steal my fish, I didn't even catch him. Dude, he was swimming, I don't know how he didn't get hooked. He probably had a little one. It's a pretty spot, dude. That's a pretty one for here. Very pretty one. Hmm. Well, that's a dang pickerel. I was like, man, that's a skinny bass. That's a fat one. They usually ain't got bellies like that. All right, well, my phone is frozen, and so I'm making an intro on the GoPro. But anyways, out here on the home pond again, this is where I grew up fishing. The first boat I ever fished out of, and we're trying to catch some bass today. We already caught a few, a little spoiler. Have not made an intro yet, because my phone is frozen, so. Letting y'all know right now, we back around Alabama catching us some spotted bass, some large mouths. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a cool video. There's a bass, finally seen one. Here he comes, too. Straight to it. Eat it, dude. Eat it, dude. That's like bed fishing right there. <laughs> That's fun. Saw him sitting up there, pitched up to him, hopped it into his mouth. Had a glare on it where I couldn't see him eat it, but I saw he was right in front of it. He got a big old mouth to be a 13 incher. On a little Ike mini flip, in case y'all are wondering. Look at that. He wouldn't even let go of the pincher. There's one cruising. 10 incher probably. Here he comes. Oh, 
Got him. He's a living incher. But I saw him, threw to him, caught him. Spot a bass on those square bill. Could be a fun way to catch them. I like cranking. I do like cranking. jigged right there though because that is too perfect that feels like a good one right there dude it is there we go that's what I'm talking about Thank you, Arwood. Just put up to my old tournament partner. He said they're biting pretty good old cranking today, so. We got out here and cranked us up a couple real quick. That's what I'm talking about. I do enjoy cranking. Lots. This is a good, nice, quality fish for right now. Not bad at all. I do enjoy these uh, Chattahoochee River bass. Him. It's a good little hook in that jig. A little mini flip. My buddy Tyler Morgan from uh, Pennsylvania started throwing that thing. I looked at it one day and said, I might give me some of them. size I wanted but I'll take any bite I do like catching bass spotted bass oh that's kind of spotted bass I grew up catching I didn't grow up on them coosa spots like a lot of people in Alabama I grew up on these little Kentuckys little 12 inches you don't want to catch them usually I wish that wind would blow. That's what I need. Fun though. That's fun. Look at those spot. Crunched it under there. Mm, there we go. Big old spot for this lake. It's good and close to a two pounder.
Okay, so what you just watched was me and Matt, and then just me fishing on my home lake, Lake Harding, small impoundment off the Chattahoochee River. Basically, the first day we went, I really, really, really tried to force it. I tried to make them bite the way that they sometimes bite this time of year, the way that I wanted to catch them. I just tried to force it and make them bite the way I wanted them to bite. Did not work. So the second time I went out, fished a little bit higher percentage areas, some places where I knew if I didn't catch largemouth, I'm at least gonna catch spots. So the, the second time I went out, I just made sure I caught some fish. I did see probably 25 fish over three pounds cruising the bank. I only got one of them to bite and did not land it. So that's the way it goes sometimes. I should have moved more on day one that me and Matt went and made up and found active fish instead of trying to force it. But anyways, if you like that video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. That is Alabama November bass fishing on the Chattahoochee River. See y'all.